What's going on everyone? Welcome to today's video. Now it would be a disgrace if I went to Tulum and I did not record and do a vlog in the epic, the famous Tulum Jungle Gym. Some about this gym, when you go in there, it's just so much fun, it's so interesting to look at. You're in the sun, so you get an amazing pump and it just records very well. And I know a lot of you guys have been asking, What's it like in person? What's it crack up to be like? Because the gym is definitely one of the most famous gyms in the world. So many bodybuilders, fitness athletes, everyone goes here. So I'm excited to finally have it on channel. Either way, give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe. Let's go down to the beach. people so we made it to Macho Mama. They have Eminem blaring which is our favorite artist and so we are getting, excuse me while I'm vlogging, our acai bowls just arrived and our coffee as well so this is going to be our pre-workout meal. Oh my god. We're going to enjoy our little breakfast pre-workout meal here. So we're going to listen to some Eminem, eat some matcha and then go train. Alright so this looks absolutely insane so let's do a little taste test. They went hard on the granola today, which is what we like, okay? Mm. Yeah. Alright, let's eat. So we are here. This place is absolutely crazy. You can see the vibes here now. Me and George, say what's up. Gonna do a little workout and thank God it's push day. We did legs yesterday, so we get to use all this equipment for a good old chest session. Thank God. So as you can see the weights, they look like some of the Flintstones, and we're gonna start off with some dumbbell press, so let's get after it. Get these bad boys, 30 kg. See the range of motion is so limited. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. It's actually better when you kind of do a neutral press. Yeah, mate. A little bit more. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Today's workout was one of a kind, as you can imagine. The plan was a push day, but it ended up being more of a push focus workout as we simply had to have a go on the lap pull down variations. They're too tempting not to try out, as you will see shortly. So we started off with some dumbbell pressing movements and then kind of just had a bit of fun with the workout, chased a pump and had a laugh. So my training has not been too serious in Tulum, as you can imagine, but I'm looking at that in kind of a positive way. It's kind of like taking a deload or life deload before a hard block of training that I have coming up and that I'm excited for. Anyways, comment down below. What do you think of the gym? Have you trained here before? And would you like to train here? Yeah, give some little pausing. Yeah. Nice, man. Shit. Looking thick. Here we are.
That's the one. Whoa, keep going. I'm gonna let it in. That's the best part of the whole workout. Go for a swim and play with this fella afterwards as well. Let's go, come on. Right, so we are back at home now. We're back from the beach. We just had a nice little post-workout meal there. And then we'll sit down and have a little chat about the gym because it is worth talking about. It is one of the most famous gyms in the world. Like the audience that it has online, I actually didn't realize it was so big. They like shared one of my workouts. Like my following went up. I'm like, thanks for the shout out to the gym. You know, usually it's the other way around. So a little review on the gym. It is an experience to train there. Um, this isn't a collab or sponsored video at all. I paid in and just reviewing it for you guys. So that is the first thing. It is extremely expensive to pay in. It's $30 for a day pass, but the way I see it, you're kind of paying for a tourist attraction really, you know? You can buy a week pass, but they don't even offer normal memberships. So that's kind of really says it all that somewhere that, you know, people don't join for a year, they just stop in, they train, they take a photo and they're gonna enjoy the experience. So all in all, I would absolutely 100% put this down as a must do when you're in Tulum. But if you are here for a long time like us, and you're looking to get some proper training in, I would do one of the kind of air conditioned indoor gyms I'd sign up to them for a month. But Tulum Jungle Gym is an absolute yes for me. So I'm gonna ask you some other Tulum related questions. Let's do it while we're on the couch. <laughs> let's just have a chat. This Perfect. is while we're on the couch chats. So someone asked, what is the best place to stay in Tulum? So we have been thinking about this a lot, okay? And now often the fancy stuff, like even the jungle gym, the main restaurants and the clubs are all down on the beach road, but you should see the prices, especially around January and Christmas when we went, this is the highest season, first two weeks of January. We actually saw one and it was on 130 grand for the month, okay? So we didn't go for that. We ended up getting an Airbnb in Aldia Zama, which is the kind of area located in between the Centro, the Pueblo, and in between the beach. So you're kind of right in the middle of everything, but it's just kind of a place where it's all apartments, there's a few really nice cafes. But I would actually recommend spending here because you save all the money that you kind of spend on the beach, you just zip down on a moped, which again is a must have. Don't rent a car, get a moped. It's so much easier to get around. The traffic if you're in a car is insane. But if you're in Zama, you kind of save just so much money and you can spend that on all the restaurants and attractions down at the beach and even in the town as well. So I like to think of it as a happy medium. But if I was coming, maybe like if I was from America and I was coming for a long weekend or just a week, I would probably look for a good deal down at the beach to get like the full experience. So the best meal you had in Tulum? The best meal we had, this is gonna be a disgrace to say because we went to like the most high-end places like It, Funky Geisha, Rosa Negra, all the ones down on the beach, like all the high-end stuff. And the best ones we had were honestly in the town, places like Mastixa, Burrito Amor, even Kokoro is a sushi place right next to us in Aldi Azama. They're the kind of stuff we love. And I'm just gonna say it, I'm just gonna say it, we love the street tacos. We love yeah, the we strip. Got, we got one pretty much every night. <laughs> this, this, and they're $2. This is me, like I'm just being honest. And Linda as well. Yeah. We just love like kind of a strip. We love keeping it simple. We had some amazing meals, but th those two that I just um, named, Mystique, Burrito and More, were some of our favorites too. But if I were to choose some down the beach, Funky Geisha would probably be the best sushi we had. And uh, Coconut Kitchen, we went there for brunch. 
That was actually amazing. Yeah, Casa Banana was good for meat and Casa like steak. Casa Banana was one of the best steaks I ever had as well. Yeah. But again, extremely expensive. You're looking at like $250 for the whole kind of drinks, bottle of wine, stars, mains and everything for two people. But it was amazing and the atmosphere is so good. But yeah, so if you want to kind of more casual, go to the Pueblo, the Centro and the high end stuff down at the beach. But honestly, you'll get amazing stuff anywhere. Even the street tacos are Gourmet. So, someone asked, is it safe in Tulum? This is one we were kind of having a laugh at, to, to be honest. I'm, I'm just going to be honest. I got a message, I got a few of these, and they're like, oh yeah, you know, a group of lads, we were going to go over in February, but we just saw the crime, that it's just too much, you know, we just, you know, we, we were too worried about it, and we leave it. There's literally kids on the beach. There's literally kids playing with a bucket in the sand on the beach. Like, there's kids walking around, there's families, it's a majority is like couples. We have seen zero. We've seen not one street fight, which we'd see outside our house in London. Even when our, pe our remember our moped ran out of petrol, the police yeah. were like stopping and helping the us. They stopped and helped us, they were so nice. Like, we've had a really good experience, and I know I've read all the articles. I Googled it, I researched it about the cartels, the crime. Everything, I'm just giving my personal experience. We saw absolutely nothing, and I'd see worse on my doorstep in Kensington in London. <laughs> we saw, we would see fights outside our house so much. We'd see people get arrested. There'd always be like police blockades on our street. This is the nicest area, of South Kensington. I'm just being honest, that was my experience. We didn't even get a bad feeling. Yeah. Like walking around, we never felt like we were in danger. Around. And everyone's really humble and polite, like all the locals. All the locals are just so polite and yeah, it's lovely. So again, you come to, oh no Rob, the cartels are gonna kill us, the crimes in the area, it's all about the cartels. I'm just giving you my personal experience. I read the same articles as you. I'm here now, we didn't see anything, so yeah. It was this night at Papaya Playa and it was like, I guess you'd have to kind of think about it as a mini festival. It's a picture that I posted, me and Linda, by a bonfire. There was just, it was like a festival on the beach. There's beds everywhere, best group of people. The acts were amazing. Uh, so that was probably the best night. And then after that would be Zamna, which was just out of this world. It was just like a full on concert in the middle of Mexico in Tulum. It was just absolutely crazy. Like the stage, everything, the, the way it was ran, even you had to get like a COVID test from the actual company. So it was all legit and really safe and well run. So yeah, Zamna and Papaya Playa, so good. All right guys, so finishing off today's vlog in probably the best location I've ever done so. So we are in Casa Malca, which was actually owned by Pablo Escobar. It's Pablo Escobar's mansion. So the sun is setting, we're about to get some food now. This is just absolutely amazing. Look at it here in the background. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. It's gonna be one that I'm gonna be proud to look back on and just kind of relive these memories. So either way, keep it real. Catch you next one. Peace.